Hello. This is my Univox High Flyer. It's a phase three. It's probably somewhere in between a 73 and a 75. Made in Japan. I recently had a bunch of work done on this. It's got a new nut, new frets. Uh, the fretboard was sanded down a little bit. It's uh, got a new bridge and a new tailpiece on it because the uh, trim that was on here before it's out of tune didn't work so I just got this one put on it and it plays so much better I really love this guitar I really do um, I want to be able to play it out so I've had some work done on it um, There are issues with this, if you ever get one. They feed back like hell. I, not as bad as like a hollow body, but you got, it's real thin. Like real thin, if you can see that. And uh, it, it, like even I play an SG normally, and this is even thinner and lighter than that. Um, so you got to be real careful about feedback. Um, another issue is I really, there's like, I hold a lot, you've seen me, I bend and hold a lot of notes and, you know, got that real classic rock tile style, you know, blues playing that I play. And it doesn't have the sustain of like my SG or even my Tele or Strat or anything. Um, but it has a sound. It has a thing, you know. And it just is so freaking cool. Just, just look at this. These are like cheap Moss right uh, copies. And uh, I know it was famous because Kurt Cobain played one because it doesn't look too bad when you play it left-handed. Um, they're great for punk rock or, you know, sludgy stuff or whatever. And I just love it, mine. And it's a great guitar. So uh, uh, listen, check it out, see if you like it. If you like it, go out and find yourself one. You can get them, you know, under a thousand dollars. You can get them seven hundred, maybe even five hundred bucks online. Great guitars, man. Go get yourself a Univox High Flyer, Base Three.